Solar has just been killed by the energy retailers. The energy retailers have reduced the feed-in tariff from 10 cents, 15 cents, down to two, three, four cents in most parts of Australia. And the only way you can fight back is get a solar and battery combo. But then when it comes to batteries, seriously, it's a relatively new technology and it's not cheap. So how do you make sure you buy the right battery? So we decided to invite some of the best solar installers in Australia, guys who've been around for 12, 15 years, and we asked them, give us the best battery tip that you can give me. And that's what's in this video. Which battery to buy? How to size it correctly? Maybe how to make extra money out of the batteries? But before we move to all the tips of some of the best installers in Australia about batteries, here's my number one tip. Do not buy a cheap battery. There are solar companies right now bringing batteries by the container from China and these are headaches. The reason is because as soon as there's a problem, you have nobody there to fix it. And this baby, it's technically not that simple. So please, if you cannot afford a battery that has a decent price point, that's a quality battery, like a SunGrow, Sig Energy, a Tesla, definitely the Power Plus made in Australia, save your money. So now for the other nine tips, the best thing is when they've already got a system installed by us, they've got consumption monitoring. So they can say, oh, I'm using a lot of energy between 5 and 10 p.m. at night, but your solar is not covering because there's no sun. So a battery would fit you right here. That's going to save you this peak period of 60 cents a kilowatt hour. And so that's going to save you 10 bucks every night having that battery, which over time adds up quite a lot. So The battery systems that we offer, they will all provide an indefinite long-term blackout protection. You can live indefinitely with those systems as Maybe. long as you're conservative. Keep the fridge running, keep your phone charged, ceiling fans, keep that air movement. When your battery's full, sure, a little bit of air conditioning use, conservatively, but as soon as the sun goes down, turning that air conditioner off. And just like, run it on the fans. Yeah. And a bit of PlayStation sometimes. Yeah, well, you've got to keep the kids entertained. <laughs> Yeah. Product warranty is, is the most important one with batteries, but it tends to be a pro rata battery warranty. So based on the value of the battery, if it's got a 10 year warranty at year eight, you might have a failure. Then obviously <laughs> if it's only got two years left, then it might be pro rata out to two years. So it can be complex, the battery warranties. I say with um, workmanship warranty, if you're issuing a 10 year workmanship warranty, the business needs to be in, in business for double what they're offering as a warranty. We limit our workmanship warranty at 10 years because I've been around 20, so I've got a proven history that we've been around for at least that long. With a solar system, everybody knows the components. When you're talking about a battery, the battery is a lot more expensive. If a battery dies and that manufacturer is not around to support it, then you're going to have to try and put another battery in. But batteries don't cost two and a half grand. They cost a lot more than that, even subsidised. But you can only claim your subsidisation once. You're not going to be able to claim it both. So yeah, if you claim that, it and then yeah. you put an average system in and it doesn't last, you're either going to be set in a position where you just can't afford another battery or you're going to spend more to get something that you should have got in the first place. Because in the design of the battery rebate, you can only claim it once. So if you waste it on crappy product and then down the track, there's no support because the manufacturer has left and the installer has gone into liquidation, you will, if you want a battery again, put your hand deep into your pocket. I heard that there is a program called Amber that mm. helps you earn more money with your battery. Amber Electric is really interesting. In the national energy market, the power price is going up and down all the time. It's a bit like the stock exchange. It's just constantly fluctuating and it's fluctuating based upon supply and demand. And so in the middle of the day, the grid might be 60% renewables and power could be down to a few, a, cent a few cents a kilowatt. But then the sun goes down and everyone comes home and starts using power and the power price will go right up. So what Amber have done is they pass on the wholesale power price, whatever that may be. Amber works in with Tesla and a few other batteries so that when the power price gets really high, and I'm talking about $13 a kilowatt, you can set it up so that Amber automatically discharge your battery into the grid and sell power out of your battery. And then you get paid whatever that price is. A very so, high price. Very high price. And mm -hmm. so there's people that have made $50, $60 in a night. Um, that just kind of comes up as a credit on your bill. So businesses and residential customers with a battery 
Amber is definitely worth a look at. And the batteries are really starting to come into their own now, I think, from a payback perspective. The feed-in tariffs are going down, unfortunately. You're getting a lot less for your exports to the grid now than you might have in previous years. You know, once upon a time where you were getting paid 20 cents a kilowatt hour, for example, for your feed-in, now you're lucky if you get three, four, five cents for your feed-in. And this is where a battery plays a really important role. It charges during the day from your solar system, often when you're at work, you know, not using any energy. And then when you get home at night and you turn on your air conditioner, you start cooking, you can discharge that battery into your home and use all that solar power mm. that you were generating the day yourself rather than exporting it. So this is where batteries are coming into their own. The costs are coming down slowly. Um, there are rebates as well. Well, of course, the number one thing is if you've got a battery, you need to be able to charge it. Now, you want to charge that ideally from your solar power, right? Mm. You don't want to pay grid feed power to charge your battery. Mm. So the solar capacity on your roof to cover obviously what you're using in the daytime, but then you're also looking to be able to charge that battery basically every day to really get the maximum value out of that and maximizing your self-sufficiency. So would you say you really got to have a five kilowatt system as a minimum to start really worthwhile for a battery? That, that's probably a pretty good starting point. Of course, it does depend because everyone is different. It's not a one size fits all approach. We do need to look at what you're doing now, what you likely to do in the future and be able to cater for those eventuations and electrification of the home moving forward. Now battery, can it just fit anywhere on the house or is there actually a bit of a science to find the right spot for the battery? We've got certain standards, Australian requirements for that. We can't be near windows or any door openings. It can be on timber homes, either external or in the garage area. Uh, it can't be any living area or near living area. If it's a timber home, we might put a sheet of form ply and then sheet it with some AC sheet on top so that it gives it some sort of fire rating. If it's underneath a home- Is that like a fiber sheet or? Correct, yes, right. fiber sheeting, yep. There's low risk of fires anyway with stationary storage. Thankfully, the type of batteries you use are the heavier lithium ion phosphate batteries. So there's a lot less reduction of other chemicals like cobalt and that that can ignite or mm. create thermal runaway but there's always still a risk. So by putting it where it's got to be compliant for Australian standards is where we search. And sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge. So we will talk with the customer. We think it's probably best here. He might think there and we find a compromise that's still going to be suitable and compliant. If I get the best possible brands, can it still be stuffed up? Of course it can. For me, the gear these days, it, look, it's important and there are certainly cheaper options that I wouldn't advise customers to go with. But the installation is is really important too and it, it gets overlooked. Unfortunately, that's where I think a lot of the quality issues come. Certainly where a lot of the longevity issues come, poor connections, you know, that lead to devices failing um, within the system. So the installers for me, more important often than the gear. <laughs> I know this sounds counterintuitive, but getting a good installer that's been around for a while, that knows all, the, has made all the mistakes, I guess you could say, is is more important for me than probably what, what gear you pick. I hope you enjoyed those top tips and hopefully there was some really good info for you. Now, if you like our channel, please subscribe, ring the bell, but most importantly, if you already bought a battery or if you think about it, maybe share a comment. We will happy to respond and give you some feedback as to what our opinion is on maybe the battery that you've chosen. Or have you gone for cheap and you're already having bad experiences? Let others know so they don't go for the same trap. But now, when it comes to the installer network, we on our side have 40 guys right across Australia that we've vetted and they install with the top quality in mind. You want to have a good battery, you want to have a good installation job, pick one of our guys. Other than that, enjoy. Till the next time. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.